Okay, our last example here is another pretty wordy one. Two straight roads lead from different points along the coast to an inland town. Surveyors working on the coast measure that the roads are 12 miles apart and make angles of 40 degrees and 180 degrees, or sorry, 110 degrees with the coast. And we want to find out how far is it to the town along each one of the roads. So this is a pretty complicated one. Um, again, when you get one like this with lots of words, it's absolutely essential that the first thing you do is draw a picture. So let me draw a picture. So that's, that's supposed to be the coastline there. Those are supposed to be fish uh, swimming in the ocean. And we've got different, two different points along the coast. And two roads lead from these points uh, to an inland town. And these roads make angles of 40 degrees and 110 degrees with the coast. So that's about 110. And that's about 40. And we know that straight roads go off and they go to some town somewhere inland. And the last thing we're told is that the roads are 12 miles apart. So I'm going to write, fill in my third side as 12 miles there. So we want to figure out how far it is to the town along each of the roads. Now let's look first of all at this triangle we've got here. Um, what I've been given is two angles of the triangle and the side in between them. So we've been given an angle side angle situation. Um, when you're given an angle side angle situation, the thing you want to check is whether those angles are really legitimate. In other words, whether they add up to less than 180 degrees. So the angles sum up to, in this case, 110 plus 40 is 150, which is less than 180, which is good. So there is a unique solution. So I'm going to label everything I know here. Um, I'm going to label that unknown angle as C and the others as A and B, capital A and capital B. And then I'll label my sides uh, lowercase a, lowercase b. Remember you put the, the sides opposite the angles with the same letter. And that side is that we know 12 is lowercase c. So now I've labeled everything I know, and I, I want to find the length of the roads. So that's um, lowercase a and b. So how can I find those? Um, this is an angle side angle situation. So angle side angle, if you remember, that's one that you want to solve using the law of sines. That's one that you want to solve using the law of sines. Doesn't work very well with the law of cosines, or um, certainly doesn't work with Sokotoa because we don't have a right angle here. Um, so we're going to use the law of sines. And let me remind you what that is. That says sine of angle A over side little a is equal to sine of angle B over side little b. And that's equal to sine of angle C over side little c. So that's the law of sines. And we want to use that to solve for little a and little b. So let me work on little a first. So I'll write down sine of capital A over little a is equal to sine of capital C over little c. Um, the reason I'm going to do that is because I know what little c is, and I don't know what any of the others are. I can find capital C very easily. Um, capital C is 180 minus A minus B. That's because the three angles of a triangle add up to 180. So that's 180 minus 110 minus 40. 180 minus 150 is 30. So C I'll fill in is 30 degrees. 
Um, that's not my full answer to the problem, but that's going to be useful to me. So sine of capital A is sine of 180, or sine of 110. Little a, I don't know yet. Sine of capital C is sine of 30. And little c, I do know, that's the 12. OK, so I'm going to cross multiply to solve for little a. So 12 sine of 110 is equal to a sine of 30. And so if I solve that for a, I get a is equal to 12 sine of 110 over sine of 30. And now I'm going to reduce that using my calculator. Remember to set your calculators on degree mode if that's what you're using. If you use radian mode, your calculator will interpret this as 110 radians and 30 radians, and it will give you answers that don't make sense. So I'm going to simplify 12 sine of 110 divided by sine of 30. And it tells me that it is approximately 22.6. And the unit of measurement here is miles, because we were told here that the measurement on the coast was given as 12 miles. So that tells us how long the A road is, 22.6 miles. So now let's figure out how long the B road is. And again, we'll use the law of sine. So sine of B over little b is equal to sine of angle C over side lowercase c. I'll fill in what I know there. Uh, I know that capital B is 40 degrees. I don't know little b. That's what I'm solving for. And sine of C is sine of 60. Uh, sorry, not 60. C was 30 degrees. And little c is the 12. So again, I'll cross multiply there. Um, so I get 12 sine 40 is equal to b sine 30. That b looks a little bit like a 6, but it's not a 6. That's a b. Um, and then I want to solve for b. So b is equal to 12 sine of 40 divided by sine of 30. And I'll plug that into my calculator. Again, make sure I have degree mode. And I get an approximate answer of 15.4 miles for B. So now I have the length of those two roads to the town and land. So let's recap what we did there. We were greeted with this long problem with lots of words. The first thing to do is draw a picture and try to, an to identify everything you're being given in the problem. So we have different points along the coast. We have an inland town. Uh, we measure the roads are 12 miles apart. So I filled that 12 in to my distance along the coast. I filled in the two angles. And that was really all the problem gave me. But that was enough to set up a triangle and to notice that I have angle side angle. So once I know I have angle side angle, I can check the measure of the angles, make sure it's less than 180. And so that tells me that there is a unique solution. Now with angle side angle, it's really not a good one for law of cosines. It doesn't work very well. Um, certainly doesn't work with Sokotoa because we don't have a right angle. Remember, Sokotoa only works with right angles. And so we're kind of stuck using the law of sines, which actually works very well for angle side angle. First thing we had to do was find that third angle. And the way we did that was by noticing that the angles add up to 180 degrees. And so we used that to find the value of the third angle. That's the value of angle C is 30 degrees. And then we were able to plug that in to these um, incarnations of the law of sines. Uh, sine A over A equals sine C over C. We plug in everything we know, and the only thing missing is this little a. And so we're able to solve this down and get little a equal to 22.6.
And then we figured out the unit of measurement is miles. So that's why we said that the answer was in terms of miles. So then we use the law of sines again. Sine B over B equals sine C over C. Fill in everything we know. Reduce it down. Solve for B and give our answer in terms of miles. So that tells us the length of those two rows. That finishes off this problem. That also finishes the uh, lecture on word problems and applications of triangle trigonometry. Thanks for watching these trigonometry lectures on educator.com.